Welcome, dear friends and believers. This is Senior Pastor Michael Whitlock with the Nazarene Ministry, Las Vegas, Nevada. You can reach us at 702-588-9237. We welcome your messages. We welcome your texts. We welcome your calls. And I'm the one that will get back to you, and I can guarantee that. So call us at 702-588-9237. All right, we are looking at Psalm 37, but first, I would like you to turn to 1 John. This is one of my favorite books, and I'm turning my Bible uh, with you. 1 John, okay. Now, we are going to be looking at chapter 3, starting verse 18. My little children, let us not love in word or in tongue but in deed and in truth. And by this, we know that we are of the truth and shall set our hearts at rest before him. That is the Father God, his Son, and the Holy Spirit, because they are one. Now, this is the time of Passover, the time of Exodus, which Exodus means calling out. God called out all the slaves who had been mistreated for hundreds of years into absolute liberation and freedom. And that means spiritually free, socially free, mentally free, physically free, and free in prosperity because they came out with the wealth of Egypt. Yes, they came out with the wealth. So this is the time, if you've been praying for prosperity, this is the time to believe and pray for it. And if you need someone to pray with, 702-588-9237, we welcome your call. You can text us. We welcome your call. Turn your Bibles to Psalm 37. And we're going to be starting at verse 25. I have been young, and now I am old. Yes, I have not seen the righteous forsaken, or his seed begging for bread. All day long he is showing favor and lending, and his seed is for a blessing. In other words, you, me, everyone, at this time of the year is the time to pray for our prosperity. Spiritually, soulfully, mentally, physically, and financially. Prosperity of wisdom and understanding. This is the time to pray for that. The time of Passover. All right, so we move on. Turn away from evil and do good and dwell forever. So God, when we turn to him, repent. That means to return back to what is right. And we live by the rules, the regulations, or you could even call them laws, commandments, that God has set out for us, we now are fully and absolutely taken care of. Every provision, all your wants, needs, and desires, all taken care of. For Yahovah loves right ruling. Now, let me remind you again, and especially for all new listeners, I'm reading from the Hebrew, translating into English. Your King James Version, great Bible. I have many copies of it. Uh, I'm blessed to have a King James Bible from 16, I think it's 1643 when it was put out. The long and the short of it is this. This translation may be a little bit different than yours, but it is a very true factual, accurate translation. All right, let's read on. For Yahovah loves right ruling and does not forsake his kind ones. They shall be guarded forever. But the seed of the wrongdoers is cut off. Please, people, come out of sin. Come out of sin. And to do that, all you've got to do is say, Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ, Nazarene, 
I confess to you I'm a sinner. You don't need to go into detail what your sins are. God, His Son, and the Holy Spirit, they already know what it is. The angels have made a record of it. But as soon as you call out to Him and say, I am a sinner, please forgive me. Wash me in your blood. Help me to start brand new and be reborn and live the everyday rebirth life for the rest of my life. And Messiah will immediately forgive you. Now, also forgive yourself because Satan will try to use shame and guilt from your past to manipulate you, set traps for you, work you, addict you to certain things. Be set free. That's what this whole time of the year is. God calling us out to a land flowing with milk and honey. Now, I could go on a whole dissertation about milk and honey and what that means spiritually, soulfully, mentally, physically, and financially. But at the same time, just understand, this is the time for you to pray for your prosperity because God wants to set you free of every kind of slaveship and captivity. All right, now, reading on. But the seed of the wrongdoers is cut off. The righteous shall inherit the earth and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous speaks wisdom, and his tongue talks of right ruling. Let me adjust my Bible. The truth of his Elohim, that means God Almighty, is in his heart. Now, this is very important. Our heart, when we are kind to others, we affect them not just spiritually, soulfully, mentally, but physically, it affects them into their organs, the heart, the liver, all of their body, the glands, the bones, everything. All right, now, so it's a visceral, visceral blessing, meaning all the internal body. All right, here we go. The Torah of his Elohim, that means the law of his Elohim, is in his heart. His steps do not slide. Now, some translations will say slip. The wrong one is watching for the righteous and is seeking to slay him. Yahovah does not leave him in his hand or let him be declared wrong when he is judged. Wait on Yahovah and guard his ways, and he shall exalt you to inherit the earth. When the wrongdoers are cut off, you shall see it. I have seen the wrongdoer in great power and spreading himself like a native green tree. Yet he passed away and see, he was not. And I sought him, but he was not found. Watch the perfect and observe the straight. For the latter end of each is peace, but the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The latter end of the wrong shall be cut off, but the deliverance of the righteous is from Yahovah, their strength in time of distress. He is our strength, and Yahovah does help them and deliver them. He delivers them from the wrongdoers and saves them because they took refuge in him. Praise the Lord God Almighty for your holy blessing, God. Thank you for the sacrifice of Messiah on the cross. Forgive us in your sacred and holy grace. We love you, praise you, and worship you. Praise God for every blessing during this time the season of Passover, and all believers who claim what they've been praying for all year long, or maybe even more than all year long, let their wants, needs, and desires be fulfilled in you, Father God Almighty, and may they always give you the glory for the miracles you bring into their lives. I thank you, and I 
pray that they thank you and say amen, amen. So let it be, amen. Well, friends, until we meet again, that was the complete chapter of Psalm 37. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you were blessed a lot. And if you need to call us at 702-588-9237, please leave your name and number at the sound of the tone and what time zone you're calling from so I call you back in an appropriate time. Love, blessing, forgiveness, mercy, grace, and favor from God Almighty be upon you. This is Senior Pastor Michael Whitlock with the Nazarene Ministry, Las Vegas, Nevada. Until we meet again, this cowboy preacher says to you, happy trails to you. Be safe, be protected, be blessed. Amen.